Hey, this is Dustin and Eleanor today for your Devos with Dustin time. Eleanor, say hi. Hi. We hope you're having a great day. Hey, we do want to encourage you. Think about our Instagram live at 1.30 today. Say, Ella, think about it. Think about it. This is the greatest girl ever, but you're pretty great too. Say, Eleanor, we love you. We love you. You're the best. You're the best. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday, Mom. Cool. Rock and roll. Hey, guys, I hope you're enjoying your Monday. Can you believe it's already Monday and this whole self-quarantine, stay inside kind of thing we're currently facing? Uh, it's unbelievable. Well, hey, thank you so much for joining us today. We have a quick devotional we want to share, send your way. Uh, but before we do, join us for Instagram Live at 1.30 p.m. on our One Student Ministries account. You're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be fun. And we're also doing something special for my wife because it is her birthday. So y'all join her or join us for that. Uh, you'll be glad you did. Hey, I do want to talk about the idea of peace today. You say, Dustin, how can we have peace in today's situation, in today's climax, in, in today's current culture that we're going through? Well, that's a good question. But I also know the author of peace. And if he is the author of peace, he can give out peace freely. I want to uh, direct your attention to 2 Thessalonians 3.16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with all of you. Today we find in Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians actually, Paul writing a letter to the persecuted church, just trying to uplift them, try to encourage them, try to give them peace during a difficult time. And although our situations are not the same, I think we can learn a little bit from this situation. You see, we might not be facing widespread persecution at this time. Thank God for that. But we are facing viruses. We're, we're all dealing with something that we're going through. We all have our own unique challenges that we deal with on a regular basis. But even in those moments, guess what? God can give you peace. God can help you. And he wants to do that today. You know, even in my own life, we've faced our fair share of challenges lately. Uh, many of you know that my mom passed away this past fall. And so I've been trying to navigate this grieving process. And some days are good, some days aren't so good. But that's just part of it. That's part of the grieving process. Uh, not only that, I found out last month that our daughter had to have surgery on her tonsils. Well, guess what? Coronavirus comes along and she can't have surgery this week. So it feels like it's just been one thing after another. And those are just the big things. We all know that every day of life, we have its own unique set of challenges. So with this constantly changing culture, with all these things that we have to constantly fight through and navigate through, how can we maintain a spirit of peace? Well, to that, I did a quick Google Google search, because that's what you go to when you have questions, right? You go to Google, absolutely. And on this Google search, I, I found some things I just wanted to share with you today, something that I think could help in a situation like this. Ultimately, we know that God is the author of peace. Only him can, only he can give you that peace that you're looking for. But if we apply some of these other strategies, I, I think it'll help. I think it'll make a difference in your life. So strategy number one, focus on what you can control. I know a lot's going on in this world right now. You can't control everything. So my encouragement, don't try. I think that's why we are running out of toilet paper and groceries here in America. Because everybody's panicking on the inside. They have so much anxiety that they're rushing to the store to get all that they need so that they can experience a sense of control. Well, hey, so something we need to realize, we're not in control. And no matter how hard we try, we're still not in control. So worry about the things that you can control and don't worry about the things that are out of your hands. Things that you can can control, things that you can control, your devotional time. Your family time, the type of, of activities that you participate in, but you can't, you can't control what's going on on the outside world. You can't control how infectious a disease is. You can't control whether you can go to Walmart or not. You can't control those things. So worry about what you can control. Number two, 
spend time outside. I know we're in quarantine mode and you need to be wise about that, but if you have a backyard, get out in your backyard. Let that sun hit you in the face. There's something happens to your body when you get sunlight. I don't know what it is, something scientific, but you need the sun. Be sure you get it. If not, you might go stir crazy. Um, point number three, watch your health. Watch your health. Get some exercise. Go outside and run in your backyard. Do push-ups. Do sit-ups. Run. Just run in your house. Dance. I don't know. Move your body. Don't just sit on the couch, play video games, eat Doritos, and watch movies all day. Get out. Move. Move your body. Don't go into all the stores or any of that. But at least get outside and go on a walk in your backyard. Do something. But be safe about it. Also, watch what you eat. If you're always eating uh, junk food like Debbie Snack Cakes and Skittles and Starburst, man, you're eventually going to feel that. It will take a toll on your body. So if you want to help overcome peace, get some exercise. Watch what you eat. And those, those aren't necessarily the most important things, but they do help. They absolutely help. So let's get to the most important things. Number four, follow God. Do kingdom work. It's important to continue on in this great commission that we've been given. It's important to continue to spread the gospel wherever you are. Even if you're at home just typing out a message on your cell phone. Do whatever you can to obey God. Follow Him. Do His work. And then point number five, meditate on God's word and spend time in prayer. If you want peace, I only know one legitimate place to get peace from, and that's the author of peace, what we've already been discussing. He is the one who can give you peace during difficult times, during difficult circumstances. So will you go after him? Will you spend time in his word? Will you uh, spend time in prayer? One thing that I've decided to do is I, I got on the YouVersion app, and I just typed in peace because I need peace during this crazy time. And I came out, I found a devotional entitled Peace. So I encourage you, go to Uversion, check that out. Um, I can't remember the author specifically. His name might be Charles Swindoll. I'm not sure on that though. Um, but yeah, go check it out. It's entitled Peace. So if you put things, these things into practice, You'll be well on your way to settling down your anxiety. And let's face it, we need that. But ultimately, we must put our lives in the author of peace. We must give our lives to Jesus Christ. You know what helps me? You know what helps me during difficult moments, during hard moments that we face on a regular basis? Knowing who I belong to. I know who I belong to at the end of the day. No matter what life throws my way, whether it be a fastball, curveball, whatever the case may be, I know I can handle it because I know who I belong to. You see, it's not up to me to figure out all this. It's not up to me to control all this. But I do belong to the one who can control all this. That's why Jesus Christ is so important during these times of change, during these difficult circumstances, during these times where we don't experience a lot of peace. God's in control. God's in control. And at the end of the day, I know where I am going. In John 10, 27 through 28, we see this. Jesus is talking and he says this. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them from my hand. No one will snatch them out of my hand. You need to know this. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ today, the enemy cannot snatch you away from Christ. You belong to him. You are his sheep. He will take care of you. I don't always know why things happen or how things will happen, but I know that when it comes down to it, you will always be in the hands of the Lord if you choose to. So my encouragement, if you need peace today, go to the source. Go to the author of peace. And if you do, no one can take you from his hands. Hey, we love you. We believe in you. We'll see you soon.